A group of pilots are home after an epic trip inspired by a great cause. A team of volunteer pilots are back on Canadian soil, landing in Kelowna Friday. Their adventure took them 38,000 kilometers through 20 countries in South America. They raised half a million dollars to go towards Hope Air, a charity providing free flights for sick Canadians and their loved ones to get medical treatment. And we had the time of our lives, but while we were doing it, we raised enough money to fund 2,000 flights for Canadians who need to get the health care. A group gathered at the airport to welcome them home and congratulate them on completing that trip and reaching their fundraising goal. Thank you very much. What a great achievement. Well, it's a high-flying event that inspires girls to learn about careers in a field dominated by men. This weekend in Abbotsford, thousands of girls are getting an idea of what it's like to work in the world of aviation. Up right in. It's a hands-on experience for these girls. It's so a chance to get a glimpse into a field that hasn't attracted many women in the past. Everyone says, oh, there must be discrimination, they're not wanted, it's not that at all. You know, if women don't have someone in their network that's a marine engineer or an astronaut or a pilot, how would it even occur to you to go and do those things? Kirsten Brazer, the founder of the Sky's No Limit Girls Fly 2 event, is a professional pilot. So as a pilot, I'm one of 6%. The maintenance population is down to 2.3%. The fire rescue, 1%. It's all of the non non-traditional trades. Those high-tech fields, the STEM-based fields, that's what we're trying to introduce here. 12-year-old Samantha Connor was taking it all in today. It's really cool seeing a lot of women in these male-dominated jobs. One of those women is Captain Sarah Dallaire. And for you, you're in my seat. I sit right there. She is just the second Canadian Snowbirds pilot. female pilot. My parents were deeply uh, passionate about aviation, so I always kind of had my foot in the door and loving the airplane, always looking up. And, and now I can actually have that view looking down, and it's the best view in the world. Women and girls at the event even get a chance to fly. We invite them to the airport to give free helicopter rides, so we're hoping to fly a couple of thousand. I think it's important for the girls just to see that there's options out there. They don't have to stop at the traditional female roles. It's something eight-year-old Maya has already figured out. Yeah, I'm really excited to be a jet pilot when I grow up. The event that helps girls soar runs until Sunday.